friends today's video is about cutaneous nerves of the anterior abdominal wall the skin of the anterior abdominal wall is supplied by the lower sixth thoracic nerves and by the first lumbar nerve so we can see the manner in which they are supplied basically we have the anterior cutaneous nerves and the lateral cutaneous nerves the anterior cutaneous nerves are seven in number they are derived from the lower five intercostal nerves the subcostal nerve and the iliohypogastric nerve so the lower five intercostal nerves are t7 t8 t9 t10 and t11 then the subcostal nerve is t12 and the iliohypogastric nerve is a branch of the first lumbar nerve the nerves t7 to t12 enter the abdominal wall from the intercostal spaces they pass between the internal oblique and the transversus muscle so in the anterior abdominal wall we have the external oblique muscle deeper to that we have the internal oblique muscle and still deeper we have the transversus abdominis so the nerves t7 to t12 enter the abdominal wall from the intercostal spaces they pass between the internal oblique and the transversus muscle then it pierces the posterior lamina of the internal oblique aponeurosis to enter the rectus sheath within this rectus sheath they pass behind the rectus abdominis and then pierce the rectus muscles and the anterior wall of the rectus sheath close to the median plane then they divide into medial branches and lateral branches and supply the skin of the front of the abdomen they are arranged in serial order t7 near the xiphoid process t10 at the level of umbilicus then the iliohypogastric nerve 2.5 cm above the superficial inguinal ring and the others at proportionate distances between them the subcostal nerve that is the t12 it supplies the pyramidalis muscle the iliohypogastric and the ilioinguinal nerve they do not enter the rectus sheath then the iliohypogastric nerve as we have already mentioned it becomes subcutaneous about 2.5 cm above the superficial inguinal ring the terminal part of the ilioinguinal nerve emerges through the superficial inguinal ring it pierces the external spermatic fascia and descends to supply the skin of the external genitalia and the upper part of the medial side of the thigh coming to the lateral cutaneous nerves they are two in number and are derived from the lower two uh, intercostal nerves that is the t10 and the t11 each now pierces the external intercostal muscle and divides into a large anterior branch and a small posterior branch both of them are much between the lower digitations of the external oblique muscle and supply the skin of the side of the abdomen the larger anterior branch also supply the external oblique muscle finally the lateral cutaneous branches of the subcostal that is the t12 so the lateral cutaneous branches of the subcostal and the iliohypogastric nerve descend over the iliac crest and supply the skin of the antero superior part of the gluteal region in this diagram we can see the dermatomes of the anterior abdominal wall so the t7 uh, close to the xiphoid process t10 at the level of umbilicus so that's all about the cutaneous supply of the anterior abdominal wall hope you understood and thanks for watching